All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually going to do a lineup update on why I decided to make my lineup the way I did. So stay tuned for that. Um, but we're not going to go super in-depth this time, but we're just going to go over some of the main X factors that I have and why I have them. So on offense, we got I like to throw the ball. So I have Jerry Rice and Torrey Holt, both of these guys. Um, their abilities, we'll just go over them. I like Playmaker because I have Escape Artists, and if I'm being hunted down by like a defensive lineman or a linebacker, I can Playmaker one of my guys that is going through a route that I don't want him to come, and I can Playmaker him down to come closer to me so I can make an accurate throw, or I can Playmaker him up if he's wide open and there's no one guarding the deep field. So, Playmaker, yes, it's a must. Streak Specialist, you guys know why. Um, I don't really need to go over it, basically. Uh, if you're on a one-on-one -on -one and your defender has no abilities, you have a better chance of catching the ball. I've said that uh, before, I think, I believe. Post Flag Elite, corners and posts are my money plays, usually. And basically, to get better catching animations when they're running a post or a uh, post or a corner route so that's a must um, although if you do want if you don't like the post route you can go with and you like corner routes you can go with the out and corner this is also really good um, but yeah post flag elite my opinion works perfect um, for those of you guys that have pocket quarterbacks I recommend uh, crossing specialists um, right here I had that before when I was using Brady, but since I don't have Brady anymore, obviously, I bought him. I didn't refund him because I don't know how long Cam's going to last on my team. So, yeah. Um, route Apprentice, um, there's not really much to say about that. You guys know that you need extra hot routes. So, if you can get hot routes, get hot routes. And then the next factor, double me. Um, I think this one's self-explanatory. I like Moss, but Moss only works when it's a 55-yard run or 55 yard throw so if it's not 55 yards he doesn't get the animation he's supposed to so you have to throw the ball more than 55 yards um also moss is a little weird to get i think you have to get like 30 three 30 yards or four 30 yards something like that i think it might have been even five i don't even remember but double me, you just need three 20 yards, so that's like 60 yards. Um, it's activated. Uh, your opponent has to pay attention to him, so have that. And then Jerry Rice has the same abilities, but um, it's just the NFL 100 rack him up. Uh, lights up in the beginning, so I like to put that on. If he didn't have this, I would probably use double me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, same abilities as the Tory Holt, and that goes for that. And now we're just gonna go into QB abilities. So, um, one thing about QBs is that it depends on your style of play. If you like to stay in the pocket, none of these attributes, when I throw out of the pocket, they don't help Cam Newton throw the ball any better, by the way. So identifier is a must for me because I like to see what my um, what side of the ball that my opponent's using. So if he's on the left side, I'm looking to throw to the right. I might put like two corner routes, like a corner route going to the left. If my opponent's on the right side of the field, I'll do a corner route on the left, and then I'll probably do like a streak on the left, just so that he has to choose one to guard. If he guards the streak. Or runs back to it I'll throw the corner out um, and I'll you sometimes even put a hitch on the right you never know hitch or curl whatever one um, no look dead eye and dashing dead eye it's pretty self-explanatory um, the reason why I have these two and escape artists along with that too um, basically escape artists one thing you have to know is that as soon as you hold the trigger and you run backwards escape artist is gone you, if you want to use escape artists, run to the left, to the right, or run up. Do not run backwards. The moment you run backwards, 
escape artist is it, it's just not there anymore okay so one thing that, that just keeps you guys in mind um cam i like him a lot um you can see 99 break sack i love that and then where's his carry 78 carrying i feel like it's a lot higher than what it is on paper um but we'll look into that obviously but identifier obviously and then these two i haven't explained yet but i'll talk about it right now um when someone's hunting me down like a julius peppers a kevin green um it could even be a worn sap on certain occasions um it's important for me to throw in the run outside the pocket before dashing dead eye i was pretty sure it was perfect accuracy while running it, there was no outside the pocket i think with this latest patch um you have to run outside the pocket now so basically i could replace it with this roaming but it's just like do i really want to do that you know um because every single time i i might actually give it a go i'm not used to letting go of right trigger but you can use roaming dead eye to um save yourself some abilities and these are just the other abilities with cam i don't really use any of these just because um i don't like to run the ball i feel like if you do use fast break your quarterback gets a little tired after you run the ball with your quarterback on qb design runs and it'll make him be too tired to throw an accurate pass even when someone's wide open so you know i don't like to run around too much with my quarterback um and yeah you know some people that have pocket quarterbacks will have protected i'll actually go over what i have my own, on my brady real quick uh, that's not him we'll just for the purposes of this video we'll just go to this um so for pocket quarterbacks this is what i would recommend uh identifier protected hot route and gunslinger um this i would if you don't obviously it's because of the nfl 100 if you don't have brady and you have someone else like a kurt warner i recommend gambler um just because they have to use your routes to pick you off um the worst thing in this game is that when a cpu picks you off you i just rage a lot so i know i'm working on it but i've been a lot better so um yeah so that's the lineup for the or that's the abilities for the quarterbacks got a pocket and then we got a i guess this is a running quarterback improviser so wilson's actually really good it's just that he doesn't get the third ability but this qb playmaker is really good um which eventually when he gets his new card i'm gonna jump on that obviously um so yeah but we'll go over to the defensive abilities um i used to have two defensive ends or defensive tackles on my abilities but now you see i, I used to have frank clark and sheldon richardson um, but now i just have john randall and the thing about just john randall is just that if you look at his stats they're insane obviously but um he gets pass rush elite he gets inside stuff and he gets run stopper so anyone that really wants to run the ball on me they can i wouldn't recommend it because it's almost like someone's when, when you decide to run the ball on me it's almost like someone's not even there to block for you like john randall is gonna get like he's gonna block shed immediately and then this enforcer you know comes in and just hit sticks you and your running back will be starting to get tired and if it's Barry, i think it's most likely going to be a fumble his hit power is 92 right now but i think it's in game and think it's uh let's see we have some time we'll go back hit power is a as you can see all the juice stats here he's literally a monster this card's flawless um we'll go over that in a while but his hit power, I think, is a 94 or 96. 96. See, he has a 96 hit power. Um, basically, you can't block him, really. If you decide to run the ball, he gets the extra... Um, he gets the extra block shed from Run Stopper, and he also gets the extra block shed from 
pasture should lead. And if you use inside zone, that's just you're just asking for it at that point because all three of these abilities activate if you use inside zone. So now if you run on the outside like this and this one will activate. But if you use inside zone on me, all three of these abilities will activate. Crucial. Uh, I, f I feel like John Randall or Mean Joe Green even is a must have. Have one of them on your team, X Factored. Um, it doesn't matter which one. I don't know who's better. Uh, it's just, for me, I like guys that have the finesse icon right here. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my X Factors. And then I have Jamal Adams. Now, I know this card came out like, I don't know, like a couple months ago, probably. I'd say like two or three months ago. But the reason why I have him is because if you look over here, he has a stock 99 hit power. Um, this 99 hit power means that most likely if you click off and line him up correctly, like you're supposed to, like just not a side tackle, but like a straight parallel face to face tackle he'll make you fumble um i also have lurker and i also have acrobat so he's he's obviously my user um i like jamal adams a lot the way that he moves um but yeah he doesn't move too slow and he doesn't move too fast so and he can also leap oh partially because of acrobat and lurker but and then i got reinforcement on him um once he's activated and you get like better animations on picks and tackles and whatever you need during a game when you're using them. So that's my first one. And then Sean Taylor is my second one. Um, Sean Taylor is one of these cards that Madden loves and will always cherish for some reason. Since I'm not using him, I don't have Lurker on him, but I have zoned out. So. He doesn't get dumb out when he decides when my opponent decides to throw the ball near his vicinity. Um, I think he has built the way that he plays. I feel like he has built-in pick specialists. I don't really know. I have run stuff on him. Gives him an extra hit power, two two hit power to be exact, and two block shed. So that helps me out a lot. Um, where is it? Yeah. So he comes in ninety six stock. Not bad, but not the best either. His block shedding goes to a 80, 81, I think. And then, yeah, 97 speed. Um, can't wait for his new card. But these are the abilities. Um, I used to run just one ability for my safeties, but I think two of them are really good, especially with just Jamal. Um, moving forward, the reason why I don't play Pat Tillman is because he's 5'11". You see the height difference. Yes, it is crucial in this game. Height does matter. Some of these catches that Jamal has, Pat Tillman does not get. Um, so, yeah. And they're like the same speed, too. Yeah, 96. Well, Pat Tillman might have 97. But his height's an issue. He doesn't jump for balls, so it's not working out for me. Um, Sean Taylor, on the other hand, I use him, too. But... I just choose to use her Jamal just because um, I think he's like the perfect size. And I would rather leave Sean Taylor in his own because he can really do a good job at picking. I've, if I don't use her Jamal, I feel like people are going to throw right at him and he won't react. That's the only problem I've had with Jamal. But if I'm using him, um, I get what I expect. So, yeah. Um, but that's it for the defensive abilities. That I'm running right now. Moving forward, I'm looking for a st um, strong safety with enforcer. Obviously, um, I wanted to use Ed Reed, but he didn't get enforcer, so it just wasn't working out. He's a great lurker, though. I still have him on my field, obviously, but um, yeah. So moving forward, I'm looking for four abilities with enforcer. Uh, Tillman's not working out for me because he's short, but I prefer Sean Taylor or Jamal gets an upgrade. I don't know which one will. I don't think Jamal is due for an upgrade until probably like a month from now that you see this video. Um, Sean Taylor on the other hand can get an update this Saturday because he qualifies for an Ultimate Legend card. Um, yeah, I don't got too much else to say. Um, and then, 
Another thing, too, I have a lot of really good pass rushers. Like you see, I have Peppers here, McCoy, um, basically a lot of good linebackers as well. So fatigue is a real thing in this game. And if people start to quick hike you or for whatever reason and your players get tired, you need someone else that will just be like a good secondary. Like Flank, Frank, so I'll tell you who starts on my defensive ends or like in the line of scrimmage. Um, so Kevin Green starts, John Randall starts, and Clowney. Now, if Kevin Green, John Randall, and Clowney, God forbid, get tired, right? Who am I going to have on my defensive line? I'm going to have Peppers. I'm going to have Frank. And then I think it was Tahir. Yes, Tahir. 99 block shed, 99 hit power, 91 speed. Um, that's my secondary. Now, from some of you guys, you know, you're just like, well, yeah, because you have Panthers cam or whatever, and you have a really good team. But, like, fatigue is a real thing in the game. And say, like, your opponent needed only one play to, I don't know, score a touchdown on you. Would you rather invest in players that will play for you, or would you rather save your coins for someone else that might or might not be as good as you thought they were? So sometimes you gotta take these things into consideration. Um, yes, I went overload on some of my defensive linemen. They're a lot of coins or whatever the case may be. Um, but I think it's worth it. Same thing with linebackers. I got Bobby, I got Luke. Um, Tatupu doesn't play. I'm, he's just there for the times 30 Seahawks. Uh, Shaq, KJ Wright doesn't play, but Anthony Barr plays. So I play two at a time. If Keekly and um, Barr gets tired, Bobby and Shaq is coming straight in. Um, same thing with the, my DBs, you know? Yeah, Marcus Chupont really never sees the field to be quite honest with you. Um, Sherman really never sees the field either. He just looks pretty, but you know, if I needed someone to put in to spy like Mike Vick, Sherman and Trufant would be great. They both have ridiculous speed. Uh, Sherman, not as much, but 96 speed is still a lot to me uh, for a spy. So yeah, but that's gonna do it for this video. Um, oh, and then one last thing, I'm sorry forgot about my ability on my kicker yes i have abilities on my kicker he has focus kicker and he has what was it clutch yes the only two you can't get um he works out for me because he has uh two bit he has uh two abilities that actually really do a lot so um yeah that's going to do it for this video. Focus Kicker basically allows you to ice any kick you want. Um, one second. Why do I not have 24 out of 20? Huh. Okay. One second. I'm rambling. Give me one second. Um, oh, I know what it was. I subbed in Brian Burns for Anthony Barr. Got it. Okay. I'm going to have to change some things later. But yeah. So get this video to 10 likes if you want to see another team update video. Um, I think the next one will probably have to wait a little bit. Only because I'll just put in. Where is he? Um, only because of uh, the new cards that haven't been released. Like right now, I'm pretty satisfied with my team. Um, it's really good, to say the least. 98 overall, obviously. But uh, yeah, I think uh, this will cap it off. I hope all of you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to... Enter for a giveaway. I think today's giveaway should be... What did I want originally to give away? Um, we'll give away 
since Anthony Munoz is on. We'll give it away a NFL 100 Anthony Munoz. Um, comment the number 78 if you want to win. And yeah, um, stay tuned for my weekend league rewards. I'll be recording those as well. Um, if you guys want part two of the uh, play and learn series, please get that video to 10 likes. Um, would really appreciate it and motivate me to do more videos like that. But if you don't want to see that, comment down below on what else you want to see. But yeah, that's going to do it. And I'm out, man.